Hey everybody, Robbie here at RV Sales Morgan. Today we're taking a look at this Monaco La Palma. It's a 35 foot rig. Um, hands down one of the best gas rigs I've ever seen built. Um, it is set up with the 8.1 Chevy Vortec motor. So it has Allison transmission paired with that. In my opinion, and do your own research, that 8.1 Vortec motor is the best gas motor I've seen in any motor home. So definitely quality there. Um, paired with that transmission and motor is a workhorse chassis. So drives a whole lot better than most of the other gas competitors it has. Uh, um, so again, it's it's really like a diesel quality style, uh, diesel pusher quality um, in a gas rig. So really, really well done. Um, take a quick look down the side. We'll do a quick walk around so I can show you. Um, of course, motor is in the front up here. You don't want a, a gas pusher. That's uh, not a good idea. But you do have the commercial size tires, 22 and a half on Alcoa wheels. So again, kind of a diesel pusher type setup, um, but definitely makes it ride a lot nicer. Um, really nice fiberglass work on the outside. Very, very straight. Um, it is a full body paint on here, so you're not going to get peeling and fading decals. Um, nice big windows with window awnings on the slide here um, and two windows on either side. So you get a lot of nice lighting in there. Um, and the one up top is your slide topper awning, so you don't get debris and things like that. Um, basement doors are nice, e uh, basements are really nice and easy to get to. As you can see, the doors come out with the slide, so you're not bumping your head on the bottom of the slide there. Um, generator exhaust and motor exhaust there, um, fridge exhaust and your furnace here. Um, fueling tank, or filling fuel tank, there's your fuel neck. We have our slide on the bedroom as well. 50 amp hookups on this thing. It is two AC units on the roof and, and definitely 50 amps is necessary for both of those to be running. Um, up top, we have our backup camera and just a really nice attractive fiberglass cap on the back. Um, if you're asking me, it doesn't look like an 05. It looks like something a lot newer, but by Monaco brand, you want it in 05. That's when they were building them good. It was in this era. Um, and then coming down the, the passenger side of this rig, we have our single slide up front, more window top, or window awnings up top, and our big electric awning made by Colorado Carefree. Um, so it's electric, comes out, also has a wind sensor, so if uh, you're out on a hike, the wind picks up, it'll pull itself back in before it can be damaged. Uh, one thing I do like to point out also with that big powered awning, it comes well past your door. So this area is dry coming in and out, keeps mud from being tracked in, also gives you a nice little kind of a, a better patio space at your door. Um, I don't want to hide this. Really nice cathedral window here. I got the shades down. It's a hot day today, so trying to keep it cool in there, but you get really nice lighting in it. You kind of got the halfway mid-door entry, so you're walking more into your living room than you are on other rigs where you're in front of the passenger seat. Um, but we have two seats up here that do both swivel around, so this can be used as extra seating when uh, you're hosting or you're just using the rig, the house side into the rig. Um, wondering about this setup at all. Kind of a smart setup. I see a lot of people do it. It's just a curtain rod, but the reasoning for this is people will do this when they're traveling so that that dash air conditioning stays all up front. So just a good idea. Um, you can run roof air going down the road, but you have to run your generator and things. So this is just kind of a nice solution. You're not burning that extra bit of fuel running your generator as well. Um, in our cockpit, again, kind of a diesel pusher style. You got the bigger wheel there, but um, and it, it shows you're on the workhorse chassis. Um, do your research. If you look them up, there's, I don't have a better chassis that these gas rigs are put on. This thing is equipped well. Has a grade brake over there, has overdrive in it. It's a six speed, or sorry, it's a five speed Allison, I believe. Double check me on that, um, or, or ask me and I'll get a confirmed answer. And you do have auto leveling on this. Those are hydraulic jacks, four point hydraulic jacks. Um, backup camera there. Um, you have an updated head unit there with uh, Bluetooth and CD and, and does all the kinds of smart things that people want nowadays. Um, heated mirrors, powered mirrors, um, and really just the, the visibility in this thing is great where you have almost you know past 180 degrees of view from your driver and passenger seat. So really nicely set up there and nice little dash if you had a pet or something like that. That's a good place for the dog to ride. So um, just you know, all solid oak cabinet doors. Definitely gonna help with longevity. Again, this is what I mean when I say diesel pusher quality in a gas rig. Um, just built very, very well. Updated TV up front. Um, because we have the opposing slides, this thing opens up very, very nicely. Um, even with this bed out, and this is a couch bed, even with this out, you have a ton of room. Um, doesn't really impede your space. That's a really plush couch as well. Um, we've got obviously enough room for the four chairs here. This will leaf in. Uh, it's out right now, so it can take up less room than it is right now or easily sit four. Um, solid surface counters. 
in your kitchen. Just again, really good build quality on these things. You can tell by the heft in that and uh, it was cared for. I mean, very, very well. Everything in this is impeccably clean. We actually did all the work on this coach for probably the past decade or longer. So we know this rig very, very well. Um, good good built-in cabinets. That is supposed to happen, my mistake. Um, I'm not sure the reasoning for that, but that is how it's supposed to be. But good construction, even these are all solid. They're all a plywood, but it's not particle board there, the way it's all built. We've got a three burner stove here. I'm all wrong today. Two burner stove, propane, of course. Uh, originally had a convection microwave, but previous owner opted for a smaller microwave and more space up here. So it can always be put back to original, but uh, for the time being, this might work. You know, that might definitely be what someone wants. Got the nice little cutting board that pulls out. Here we have a spacer, a washer, dryer. If you wanted one, it is pre-plumbed for it, but just being used as storage space for now. More up top. Um, we got this nice little pantry space by your fridge. Tons of space for foods, dry goods, all that good stuff. Uh, this is a two-way fridge, propane and electric, made by Norcold. Looks to be about five cubic feet or so. Miss stuff here. Nope, just the windows that I talked to from the talk, told said from the outside. Um, kind of the open bathroom concept. You have your shower posed from your your commode, which is its own private space. Um, good size shower in this thing. Again, I'm repeating myself over and over, but really diesel pusher size things in here. Um, but plenty of room in here. Get my arms up. Can move about. I'm about six two, six three in regular shoes. Um, Easy access to everything control-wise um, for your slide rooms, for your water heater, check your battery voltage, your tanks, um, just easily located, easy to find. This is um, your service, uh, tell you what kind of service you have, 50 amp, 30 amp, how much power you're uh, using, how much you're consuming. Um, actually a good size commode in here, plenty of room for knees, not a problem. Um, extra vanity in here, you have one behind you as well, uh, newspaper rack. Good medicine cabinet in here. Uh, makes for a lot of good space. And you do have the fan of overhead, which these rooms, when uh, you have the AC on, this one's ducted, so air, cold air is gonna come in here. But a lot of the time, uh, these rooms get hot, so nice to have that fan. And also, sometimes you just need to move some bathroom air out of the bathroom. A um, little bit more bathroom storage here, I would think, kind of towels, things like that. It's a perfect place. That's the perfect place for it. Coming into your bedroom, you do have that vanity, like I said, right here. Um, and then this is all stationary, so this stuff's not gonna move on you. Uh, but good storage throughout, nice deep storage, even more here, big tall stuff. Keep plenty of clothes in here, anything you need for travel. Um, and you do have kind of a doubled medicine cabinet, but it's a mirror, or it's a window. So what's really nice about that, obviously, you get a cross breeze. You can open up those two windows, open this up, and get air moving through here. But um, kind of neat in the bedroom to have that. It's going to let no light in. There is a, um, a day-night shade behind that as well. So, But really good keeping it dark in here if you want to. Um, on all the windows around this rig, it is day and night shades. So you got like, this is like the kind of almost like a full blackout kind. So it can be really, really nice for when you're trying to get a few extra Zs. And then we got our queen size bed this is on a slide but i like to point out i can get almost to the head of the bed walking around it a lot of times they put these on slides and you can only walk maybe this far along and you got to sit and crawl in um, but really nicely done you can just sit right down lay right down you get some extra storage up around it and you do have power to each side of this thing so if you're running a cpap machine or anything like that at bedtime you have power for it you do have a standalone stereo here um, that'll control the same speakers, but in a different zone. So you can use that one up front for everything, or you can opt out, have different music playing in different areas, or just control from back here. But kind of nice to have in bed. You don't have to walk all the way to the front of the rig to change a song. A um, couple of speakers above the bed. Again, it's ducted AC. It's uh, two units, 13,500 BTUs each. Um, let me check one thing that I'm actually not sure of, but I can get an answer. Okay, um, I don't have an answer on that, but but nice easy controls here. More controls by the door, thermostat for your furnace, AC and fan right there. Um, but really, really nicely set up. Again, with one of the best motors, the gas motors that I've seen in any coach. Again, it's an 8.1 liter Vortec. 
Um, I think I'll end it there, guys. Thank you for checking out the video. If I left anything out and you have questions, don't hesitate. Just reach out, shoot me uh, your questions, and I'll get them answered for you. This is a 2005 Monaco La Palma, one of the best built gas coaches I know of. Um, fairly low miles on this thing, cared for very, very well. So if you know about these, you've been looking for one, this might be the perfect one for you. Um, but yeah, thank you all for checking out the video. Again, I'm Robbie here at RV Sales of Oregon. Hope you guys are having a great day and uh, hope to see you all soon.